हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ दिस इज़ आर ऑनलाइन बायो क्लास फॉर क्लास एट लास्ट टू क्लासेस आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन ऑफ आर कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन सिस्टम दैट इज एंडोक्रीन सिस्टम ऑल अबाउट हार्मोन्स नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दैट चैप्टर दैट इज नर्वस सिस्टम एज यू ऑल नो नर्वस सिस्टम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ नर्व्स और न्यूरॉन्स द सिस्टम विच कन्वेज मैसेज फ्रॉम वन पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी टू द अदर पार्ट नाउ दिस नर्वस सिस्टम कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट्स सी एन एस एंड पी एन एस सी एन एस इज द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड पी एन एस इज द पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम हैज गॉट टू मेन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ब्रेन एंड स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम डील्स ओनली विद द नर्वस नाउ दिस पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम कैन अगेन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू सोमैटिक and autonomic nervous system we'll come to that afterwards now neuron or the nerve cell the figure which you can see here is the structural and functional unit of nervous system now this is the picture or diagram of a neuron or nerve cell now as you can see i have marked all the labelings at the right hand side this is the rule of biology that you have to label at the right hand side i hope you all know that i have said you earlier also in class 7 and as you can see this neuron has got so many parts then right then drawn cyton is the head portion within that we are getting nucleus and the granular things are known as nasals granules as you can see the name nasals granules next where the axon part this is the axon part axon part is starting that part is axon hillock next in the axon we can find two layers outer layer is the neurolemma and the inner layer is the myelin sheath and the depressions in between that we call it as nodes of ranvier and the last of all we get the axon endings clear i hope this picture is very clear to you and it is there in your textbook also you can go through that but this is a very simplified diagram which i have drawn you can uh, practice this one also now there are uh three kinds of neurons sensory motor and association sensory neurons carry messages from various parts of the body to central nervous system motor neurons just does the opposite work it carries messages from central nervous system to the effector organs effector organs can be muscles can be glands okay association neurons connects this sensory neuron with that of the motor neuron now we always uh, talk about nerves what are these nerves they are the group of neurons bundled together now nerves are of three types sensory motor and mixed here we don't call it as association nerve we call them as mixed nerve clear now we'll start with the central nervous system as i have said you it it consists of two parts brain and spinal cord today we'll go through only the brain it is present in bony skull called cranium or we also call this cranium as brain box and consists of billions of interneurons brain has got three main parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain now in the fore brain we find various parts it is the largest part of the brain fore brain is the largest part of the brain secondly it consists of three parts cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus cerebrum's main function is it controls thinking feelings emotions our sight that means our seeing ability hearing ability memory intelligence 
etc. Inside cerebra cerebrum, there is a small structure called thalamus. It controls all the sensory functions. Clear? Another part of our forebrain is hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, I have uh, talked about it in the endocrine system also where I have shown you that hypothalamus plays a big role in our endocrine system while controlling the pituitary gland. I hope you all remember this hypothalamus is present at the base of the thalamus. Location is very important and it controls body temperature, hunger and thirst and also you must not forget it helps in endocrine system control and coordination clear next part is midbrain it is present below the cerebrum just after the cerebrum because you know cerebrum is the largest part of our brain it forms about 70 percent of our brain it receives information from sense organs which is then passed on appropriate part of the forebrain so because it is a midbrain it forms as a connection hindbrain that means back of the brain we have got three very important parts you must not forget it cerebellum pons varoli and medulla oblongata cerebellum it controls body balance and making muscular movements all kinds of muscular movements while walking running we keep the coordination with the help of this cerebellum and also we keep our balance Pons varoli is a very small part of our mid, uh, hindbrain. It controls our sleep, our swallowing of food and also our taste buds. And medulla oblongata as the name suggests is a big name and also it's very important. It is connected with spinal cord. That means it is present just over the neck region. It controls heartbeat, breathing, digestion very important things heartbeat and breathing you know you can understand very well that if it stops working will die it keeps on working when rest of the brain sleeps because you know our brain also need to sleep it also need rest to work again but medulla is the part of the brain it's just like our heart as heart never gets tired medulla oblongata also never gets tired it keeps on working when rest of the brain sleeps. So this is all about our brain part. Next class will start with the other part of the central nervous system that is spinal cord. Thank you.